My name is Karen Mbayo. I'm the Presbyterian Chaplain at Queen's. Much of my work is based in Daravulgi Halls. And Daravulgi Halls is um, run by the Presbyterian Church in Ireland and is to house students while they're at university. Um, in Belfast, the key purpose of Dara Volgi Hall is to be this home from home where young Christians live life together as disciples of Christ and uh, are nurtured and discipled and grow together in fellowship. But the core of that is to then give them the confidence and to enable them to move out of here. Uh, this is not to become some sanctuary, some bubble that they never leave its walls. It's, it's all about equipping uh, our young people to be um, disciples of Christ on the campus, in their classrooms, in tutorial groups. I'm Mark. Um, I've just finished my first year at Queen's and I live here in Derry Vulgie Hills. I really, really love living here in Daravulgi. It's a great place to live. It's um, really special, like living with like 90 other people, like your same age, who, and thinking you have in common is, is is your love for Jesus. My name is Kellen. Um, I was a student here at, at Daravulgi Hall for three years. I loved all of my time here, and I loved my experience as a student here. So there's a lot of great opportunities here too, and to serve and to just to, to be and to to live and walk with each other and in fellowship and discipleship and and there's small groups and evening services here and it's amazing to be nurtured in this way and to have chaplains who have you know seen it all and heard it all and are there to walk with you no matter what your situation is and no matter what you're going through or. As a first year, I have really, really loved having um, Christians in the year above me um, to look up to and learn from. And when there's there's difficult times, you know, it's great to just go and, and talk to talk to like Karen, the chaplain, or, or Lynn, and you know they've they've got always something to share with you and, and somewhere to point you in the right direction. And it's 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 kind of nice, you know, that, that you've got them whenever you're like um, living away from home for the first time. We encourage our students to be involved in various ministries. One of uh, our newest and most exciting is the iMail, which ministers um, hospitality to probably around 50 students each week. Uh, we would have maybe a dozen of the Daravulgi students who facilitate that, who get to know these uh, European, usually European students. We, we share dinner with them and they have, they have food and we have different activities that we do, table quizzes, um, games, uh, barbecues um, and it's really great just to talk to them about and learn about their culture, make them feel welcome here in Belfast as, as students and then you know week by week as you build with relationships with them you get to be able to, to go deeper in conversation and, and ask them about, about what, what they think of God and, and uh, ask them, you know, and they, they ask questions too, you know, like, why, why are you being nice to us, why, why are you giving us free food? And They're an awesome opportunity to sit down with people and, and have a meal and exchange cultures and um, really tell your story and hear about the gospel too and, and you know, what God's word said, says about you and, and your life and, and how he loves you and how um, you might walk along that path. And hopefully after they, they leave their time here as a student in Belfast, they can think back and, and think that they, they, saw, they saw God's love in us. It's easy to see that as a really short window in which to share the gospel and to hope that they come to Christ. But the reality, as I've come to realise it over the last couple of years, is if we can ensure that each of those young people come here and leave after those 12 weeks having um, 
been on the receiving end of real hospitality, of genuine friendship, of knowing that they are loved, of knowing why we do this, um, and having heard the name Jesus um, in a way that is life transforming and is at the essence of why we do everything that we do, then I feel that they are leaving um, having received something of great benefit. So much of this happens because of United Appeal, because of the church working together and I uh, just want to, to take this opportunity to thank you for um, forgiving and for believing in the work of the chaplaincies and um, I would encourage you to, to please keep doing that and to keep praying for, for us and, and our students.